Welcome to another edition of Rust Rants. I'm John Rust, and I come on and go off about, well, whatever's haunting me off today. Now, people in the entertainment industry having utter contempt for their fans, that's nothing new. But even though that made them jerks, at least back in the day, they were jerks with a brain. And they hid that contempt for their fans. They didn't deliberately insult their fans because they had the sense enough to know that if they went out and they insulted their fans, well, then that means those fans would not watch their shows, would not watch their movies, would not go to their concerts, and that would mean that those celebrities would not have this in their pocket. Or at least they wouldn't have a lot of this in their pocket. Well, that ain't the case anymore. As many in the entertainment industry these days just joyfully hurl insults at their fans. Or at least those toxic, sexist, racist, transphobic fans. Meaning people who just have a different opinion than they do. Well, one of these entertainment types, uh, man, oh man, he went after the fans in not just a meltdown, in a Chernobyl-level meltdown. That man would be Adam Sessler, formerly of G4. Now, a little background before I get into this whole incident. Uh, for those not aware of it, uh, back in the 2000s, early 2010s, G4 was a channel that specialized in pop culture issues, and they had a very heavy focus on video games. The channel ceased operations in 2014. Then a couple of years ago, Comcast decided they were going to revive G4. But the channel was hampered by leadership problems, lack of strategic vision, and also YouTubers out there who were doing a better job than the people in G4 just broadcasting from their home studios or even just right there in their living rooms. And then, of course, there was that legendary tirade by one of the G4 hosts, Frost, claiming that gaming is overflowing with sexists. That really didn't help G4 at all. So... That brings us to Adam Sessler, who no longer works for G4 because there is no more G4 because it was shut down last October, a year after its relaunch. First off, the man who made his mark in, by covering video games changed his Twitter handle to Adam Gamers Are Stupid Sessler. Yeah, pee on the people who made you what you are. You're, you're off to a good start already, my man. So, it, 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 I'll tell you what, it gets worse, though. Listen to what this guy has spewed on Twitter for the past week. I'm just going to put all of these tweets together here. Quote, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this over the past few days, but gamers seem to be less intelligible than normal this year. Gamers are useless, corporate-bred hares and Neanderthals. I think it's cute how gamers care about integrity. I don't. I cared about sponging off your corporate enthusiasm. One of the worst things you can do to society is teach a gamer to believe in themselves. After the past few months, what kind of simple-minded, sheltered, D-word, twiddle thinks I have any interest in them as an audience or any interest in games content anymore? Now, when someone said, said to Adam Sessler, Hey, man, don't you owe your career to gamers? Well, this is what Sessler replied. Quote, I literally don't owe you or any other gamer bleep. You know what? Yes, you do, Adam Sessler. You say you're out of gaming now, but the fact is covering gaming gave you a career. Gamers who watched your content helped give you a career. And... Just show some gratitude, man. This is just so ridiculous. So show, show some appreciation to the people who invested their time in your show. It, it just blows my mind that someone in entertainment can have this kind of hatred for their audience. An audience that, you know what, doesn't have to watch anything that you put out. I'll tell you this, me personally, 
I know I'm grateful for the people who tune in to KYCA Radio every day, for the people who watch this podcast, or for the people who tune in to my Saturday morning show, or who tune in for our play-by-play here of local high school sports, or who buy any of my books. Why am I appreciative? Why am I grateful for them? Because they could spend their time doing any number of things, but instead they decided to take a few minutes to listen to me spew about dumb athletes or celebrities or talk about sports here in the Prescott area or read my stories about monsters eating people. So thank you for everyone out there for doing that. And until Adam Sessler and others in the entertainment field learn the concept of gratitude, well, enjoy having fewer fans, enjoy having less money, and you know what? You've only got yourselves to blame. Okay, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of Rust Rants. Be sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe across all of KYCA's social media. That's Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Instagram. Check us out at KYCA.info. Be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say about this video. Till next time, I'm John Rust. I'll see you soon.